Taking five is down now to the 130 for four. With two superstars still at the crease. One over to go, one over to go. And that will be bowled by Peter Trigo. What an onslaught it has been. Sohel Tanvir has been in fine form. He's 62. Abdul Razak, the ideal foil. Now Peter Trago to bowl the last over. It was his over. He conceded just 16. It was Peter Trago's over that kept England in it and won the semi-final for England over Sri Lanka. We were talking about that right hand of his, the tattooed right hand. It's quite clear now, Peter Tregos. Big appeal for LBW. No, says the umpire. Possibly going down leg side. It's still a leg by going down leg side. Yeah, I think it's the angle. Oh, look at that. Look at that uh, right hand. That was the one we were talking about. But uh, here is the appeal very wide of the crease. Yes, it was clearly going down the leg side. Hit the, hit the back leg. I think the angle possibly going down the leg side. We're talking about the tattoos on the right hand. There you are. Oh, that's the tattoo. What were you calling him, Alan? It's called a sleeve. <laughs> Unreliably in informed, a sleeve. Because all the way up his arm, and he's got tattoos on his left shoulder as well, I'm told. So it's all part. Jay Dernbach, the England fast bowler as well, he's got the similar thing. So now Razak on strike, 42 to his name. Flies over, third man for six. So make it 48. Abdul Razak throwing his bat at everything. Trego from round the wicket, top edge. Flying down to third man. Well, this is where everyone in the stands have got to keep their uh, eyes absolutely pinned on this ball. Hard hats should be distributed here. That's 50 for Abdul Razak, Pakistan's captain. What an innings from him. He's coming at the right time. As Arun said, covered the hour, covered the man. And Pakistan needed him at this stage with those two openers, with Umar Akmal also being dismissed. Clever change of pace. And Tanvir has come all the way down, slipped. The ball has come back from Chris Reed. And Tanvir is run out. He will remain because Abdul Razak could uh, bat by himself with Tanvir running. That was unfortunate. He just slipped. Now, what is he asking for? He asked whether this was a wide, and it wasn't. Now, Tanvir, watch Tanvir, he slips. And all he can do is watch Peter Trago take the bails off. So, one man standing, it's the skipper, Abdul Razak. Well, that's another big blow. Flies off the edge and it's taken in the stands. This could cause some damage to some spectators here. More damage to England. England bowlers, England pride being dented. Pakistan up to 149 for five. At this rate, they could get to 161. They got three balls remaining. And Razak has now gone up to 58. Sliced six over cover. Now, where's this gone? It's gone far enough into the hospitality, onto the roof. It's another six. And Razak has hit seven sixes. The 150 is up. The Pakistan, 150 there at 155 for five. One, two more balls to go. Oh. 
slower ball, well played. Razak didn't want the run. He could have taken the run because then you just come back and play it. So <laughs> I think he forgot. He did forget. <laughs> he forgot that he's the only batsman left. So this is the last ball of the innings. It should be 155 for five. It's a huge total. Remember, there are eight ball overs and it's making a big difference in this final. Well, Abdul Razak has played a captain's innings here as Pakistan's total finishes on 156 for five and Razak 65 not out. Tombeer made 58. That's going to take some chasing, but we've seen some great chases here today. Well, a satisfying performance uh, for the Pakistan captain and of course Tanvir. Tanvir unfortunately run out for 58. But what an innings by Abdul Razak. 16 balls, seven sixes and five fours. A strike rate of 382 runs per 100 balls. And look at Tanvir's strike rate, 414. Ridiculous. <laughs> well, I could call it impressive as well, but uh, terrific batting by these two. Now, Rory Hamilton Brown, there, England's captain, has it all to do. Zach, the skipper. Stevens glides it away for four. Well, England might be concerned about one thing, and that is the fading light. Well, the light has dimmed a little bit since uh, Pakistan started batting, and I guess that was one of the reasons. Pakistan wants to bat first, but let's wait and see. Four of the first ball. That's a huge shot. Razak was convinced he'd got his man. Umpire says no and uh, doesn't signal for a leg by either, so that goes down as a run. That, that might be the only reason why. This is another look. Well, it looked in front to me. Was there an inside edge? We'd have to bring the tracker to tell us that, but uh, the umpire thinks there was an inside edge. Shot. Six. Over extra cover. England will have to maintain the momentum. They have to go at 31 runs per over. Which is not difficult, they got eight balls in an over at the rate they have been scoring in six ball overs. Something that they can always try. Slower ball, uh, Chris Reed waited for it and he just helps it on its way to third man for four. So England has got the momentum going. They've already gone up to 15 of just four balls. Abdul Razak has mixed that slow delivery. Chris Reid has been good. He's watched the ball onto the bat and steered it. Good carry from Razak. Just look at that equation. England need 140 from 35 balls. Well, 44s give you 160. Well, bowled Abdul Razak and Chris Reid. Just playing a hope and hit shot, really. Not too much science in that. These are important uh, dot balls for Pakistan. Every dot ball creates the pressure. England needed almost four a ball to get to that uh, target of 155. Good change of pace from uh, Razak. What a final he's playing for his country here. Runs and now great variation with the ball. Well, the start was good. They got uh, 15 runs for the first four, but they've got just one of the next three. That's the key. Now, this is the last ball of the first over. Gone for four, so England ends the first over in style, 20 without loss.